It's really easy to make fun of nerds and stuff, but in the end, they're kind of running the world now. It's called Microsoft, Apple, all that stuff, right? The engineer uh, era. And I have been, I, I, I think, and I don't know why this is, but I, Moneyball was the best book in sports I've ever read. Michael Lewis Moneyball. The movie wasn't terrible. It's like The Firm. The book's better, but the movie wasn't terrible. But I love the book because what the book did Moneyball in baseball, it said, listen, you old scouts, living in the was, not the is, you can win more games if you just dust off the cobwebs. All analytics really are data. I mean, that's all they really are. They're data. Okay? And so I got into this thing yesterday where I said, um, I, I'm kind of a 75, 80% analytic believer. I don't think it solves everything. And I, and I do think there are times where you can see things and it makes sense. And Peter Schrager's on later. I heard he, he hates my rant on analytics and football. People don't like it. And the reason it doesn't work as well in football, because football's machismo and you hit guys and it's hard in a very machismo business to say, Hey, numbers say you're wrong. That's why analytics are so easy and so embraced in perhaps Apple, Google, Yahoo. But sports is often alpha males, big guys. You see this fist? That's my instinct right there. And football, of all the sports, has got the most tough guys, right? But last night, and I'm a believer in analytics largely, last night was a great example during the Jets-Bills games of where analytics, analytics could have helped the Jets. So you got into a game last night where the score is 22-17, Bills lead. Jets have the ball. It's fourth down. Fourth and four. That's not fourth and short. Short is called fourth, three and less. On fourth and three in the NFL, it's about a 50% conversion. Fourth and four, it plummets. So the New York Jets had a fourth and four, trailing 22-17. Analytically speaking, you kick a field goal. Why? Because if you kick a field goal, it's 22-20. You have a top eight defense in the league. The Bills have a bottom third offense. That increases statistically the chances of getting the ball back and making a stop. You had all three timeouts remaining, if you were the Jets, after you made the field goal and the two-minute warning, a fourth timeout. So when you started adding all the analytics up, the Jets are 28th in the league, one of the worst, fourth down conversions. The Jets are not great in anything better than fourth and short because they're below average at quarterback. The Jets' defense, however, is fourth in the NFL, meaning they get more stops than the average team, combined with the Buffalo offense, which is 24th, combined with the fact you would know with your great Jets defense and your average Bills offense exactly what plays the Bills were running. They were guaranteed to run the ball for three straight plays. So when you added up all the analytics last night, all the analytics, statistically 80-20, you should have kicked a field goal. Now, kicking a field goal, making it 22-20, doesn't mean you're going to win the game. But over the course of a season, situationally, schematically, you will win a game, which in this league matters. So his concern would we have been able to get the ball back? Statistically, it was an 80-20 yes, or close to that. You had all your timeouts. You had the two-minute warning. You knew exactly the plays Buffalo would run. You have an elite defense. They are below average at quarterback and on offense. So there's a great example of where I buy analytics. When you're weak at quarterback, great on defense, facing a team that's weak on offense, and you know their plays, and you have all the timeouts, you kick the field goal. But that does not sit well, because as we introduced, in fact, the New York Times actually has a rule of thumb chart on fourth downs, telling you when to go for it and telling when you when not to go for it. You can look it up. It's the New York Times rule of thumb fourth down chart. But as we introduced a character yesterday, remember the character we introduced on the show? He would, of course... Gone for it, because our new character on the show is head coach Jim Bob. I'm going with my gut. I use my eyes. I don't use charts. Charts are for doctors. And I'm telling you in football, 
analytics are harder to embrace because of the machismo alpha male quality of the sport. They're very easy to embrace in technology because of the people in that industry. They're not 6'5", 280, and win fights in high school and college. So that's kind of how I, my takeaway last night was a prime example of, okay, analytically, you kick a field goal. Now, if I had Tom Brady and Gronk, <laughs> okay, would, I, would it change my decision-making? Perhaps, because I have Tom Brady and Gronk. So it's all about your personnel. It's all about numbers. It, it's not about momentum. It doesn't matter if you made an earlier fourth because uh, going forward on fourth down is like a roulette wheel. Each one, the odds never change. It's, you know, there is no momentum on fourth down. That, that, that doesn't, like roulette, each one's an individual event.